A warning and a show of force by Malaysia's Aborigines. In the jungles of Northeast Peninsula, Malaysia, more than 70 Orang Asli are planning a blockade to stop bloggers from coming into the Perias Forest in the state of Kelantan. These men are from the Temia tribe and have gotten information that two tracts of land totaling 150 hectares in size, or roughly a little more than 200 football fields, has been slated for logging. Tahun lepas ada juga pembalakan di kawasan ini juga. Dan tahun ini ada lagi satu serikat pembalakan juga di sini. Di, di dalam hari sama inilah. Jadi dia dah start lah. Ha, dia, dia dah mula start. Tapi untuk yang kami bantah ini adalah yang belum memulakan. Kami telah dihadi, uh, didatangi oleh seorang tokek balak yang menyebabkan kuasa kampung kami telah diluluskan untuk pem, apa, pembalakan lah. Jadi dia juga telah memberikan apa seribu ringgit hmm. untuk orang kampung. About 1,000 Tamiya are said to live in this forest and they believe that the logging will take place near the village of Bayo and Ramau in the Post Bihai area. A local from one of the villages says logging has been going on here since the 1980s and that loggers for this latest job have started coming in here since September. Bulan 9, dia bawa masuk dia punya jantar surat tu. Pada bulan 9 lah, baru-baru ni. Dan kita beramai-ramai kita kumpul berbincang untuk kita mengambil tindakan atas pembalakan tu kita tidak membenar ada orang nak masuk kerja di tempat yang telah di, di, dituju tu lah. This blockade is the second of its kind in recent months. In the Bala Forest Reserve, about 30 kilometers away, more than 200 Temia have set up a blockade there in September to stop loggers from coming in. They say that extensive logging in the area has damaged rivers and destroyed plants and trees they depend on for their daily needs. Attempts to reach the Kelantan State Forestry Department were unsuccessful. For now, the Temia say the blockade at the Perias Forest is only symbolic. They are giving the state government of Kelantan one week from October the 29th to respond and stop logging from being carried out in this vicinity or this blockade will be here to stay. As you can see, this place is now clear. All of the Orang Asli that were here just now have left and gone back to their respective villages and the boom gate that was set up just now has now been dismantled and is left lying down on the ground ready to be set up again in a week's time if the state government of Kelantan does not listen to their demands. It's a sign that they're holding true to the promise that if logging continues in the ancestral homelands of the Orang Asli, the blockades will spread. I'm Patrick Lee, reporting for The Star TV.